19 Group 1 so far this calendar year. The first, the CF4 stakes at Caulfield. Mike Moroni's three-year-old colt, Alabama Express, holding off fierce impact in Kingswell Dream. Alabama Express has won the oar. The lightning at Flemington was a stunner. Nature Strip, the hot favourite, capitulating to Gitra, the South Aussie, who loves the straight track. Gitra! Gitra has won it. It's a blowout. Back to Caulfield with three Group 1s on the same day. The Blue Diamond, a truly international affair. Japanese-bred Tagaloa, ridden by Kiwi Michael Walker, was trained by a pair of New Zealanders, Trent Busseton and Natalie Young, who won their first Group 1 since being based in Australia. Tagaloa has won it! Linda Meach broke new ground, becoming the first female jockey to win the Oakley Plate on the flying mare Pippi. And in the Futurity, the big names Super Seth and Melody Bell were upstaged by the journeyman, Streets of Avalon. Streets of Avalon, great! Streets of Avalon won the Group 1! The Australian Guineas had a massive build-up and Alligator Blood continued his remarkable run of success. For Ryan Maloney, it was his first Group 1 and it was a triumph for trainer David Van Dyke. His big heart pounding, he's clear, he wins! Alligator Blood won it by a leg. In Sydney, it was all about the Kiwis. Trainer Jamie Richards, jockey Opie Blossom. Their filly, Probabil, produced a big finish to win the surround. But that effort, good as it was, was upstaged by an even more impressive come from behind win by Tiako Shark in the Chipping Norton. The Shark's coming for the kill. Tiako Shark right over the top. The new market is the great handicap when it comes to sprinters. And Glenn Boss gave Bivouac for Godolphin the perfect ride. It was a dominant win rarely seen in the time-honoured race. Bivouac won the new market easily. The Hayes clan continued their exceptional success in the Australian Cup. 50 stars finishing over the top of Regal Power, who would go on to win the All-Star, with Melbourne Cup winner Val and Declare third. It was the Hayes Stables' 10th win in the Cup. At Randwick in the Guineas, Shadow Hero maintained his unbeaten record at that course, leaving Microphone, Brandenburg and Castle Vecchio in his way. And Shadow Hero won the Guineas! The Canterbury Stakes was won by the underrated Tony Pipe trained the Bostonian. And for jockey Nash Rawilla, it was his first Group 1 since coming back to Australia from Hong Kong. The Bostonian, Rawilla goes for home, it beats off Savatiano. The following week, Gay Waterhouse and Adrian Bott broke their own little drought when the American mayor Conte Fatiro ploughed through the mud to win the Coolmore Classic. Conte Fatiro goes on to win it. Under the lights at the Valley, a star-studded lineup in the William Reed, and the three-year-old filly loving Gabby out-muscled two other Group One winners this year, Gitra and Bivouac. She wins the big double. Onto the slipper, and the five Group Ones at Rose Hill. In the Randvet, English raider Adayeb won for William Haggis and a brilliant ride from Tom Marquin gave him his first Group One victory. The George rider felt vastly different without four-time winner Winks. But it was the John Thompson-trained Dream Force who led all the way, upsetting the hot favourite Tiaka Shark. Cox Plate runner-up Castle Vecchio was given a sublime ride by Craig Williams, and he resurrected his reputation in the Rose Hill Guineas. While in the Galaxy, David Pfeiffer trained his first Group One winner when his mare I Am Excited took the short way home under Tim Clark, who was winning the race for the third time. There's a great go in the galaxy, they're wide apart. I am excited, the insider, Miss Leonardi's wide out. But the highlight of this racing year has undoubtedly been Gay Waterhouse's seventh golden slipper. Training in partnership with Adrian Bott, she watched from home as their star colt, Farnham, gave Hugh Bowman his first golden slipper win. Farnham, another one for Gay Waterhouse. What a moment. At last week, the Waterhouse-Bott combination was at it again this time in the Vinery. Most thought it was a match race between Funstar and the Kiwi Probabil, but Shout the Bar held them off also to give Adam Horonimus his first Group 1 win. Shout the Bar goes on to win the Vinery! In the Tancred Stakes, very elegant, absolutely dominated, charging home to beat Mustadur and Avilius. Jockey James McDonald even had time for a pat and a quick look over the shoulder. It was J-Mac's third of four wins for the day and his third victory in the Tancred. A cheeky, cheeky peep by James McDonald and a well-earned pat down the neck. What an autumn.